All right, what's going on YouTube? Just got the wheels on. I don't know about you, but I think it looks pretty damn good. It obviously needs a damn lip. Um, what's be coming soon? Then it needs the uh, hood buffed out. Because it obviously is carbon fiber, as you've seen, I've said a million times. Let me see my uh, mirrors of carbon fiber. Put some ads in my hood. Looking like that. Then my duck bill. Carbon fiber too. So I get a back view of it. I think it looks pretty good. I gotta get some new, uh, gotta get some new center caps. Get some uh, chrome center caps and chrome valve stem caps and sleeves. The fitment's okay on them. They stick out exactly one finger. I'm gonna be cambering those in so it doesn't stick out. Let me open this door real quick. Let's skew the pardon the sound. As you can see, I got the exhaust on. The whole piping's on. All of them. Then I got more fender washers, as you can see, fender washers there. And if you guys don't already know, this car does run and drive. Just saying. Car does run. The oil leaks are getting fixed. So let me pull the e-brake up real quick. It just has no header and I ain't starting it up with no header. SIR2. Then you can't see. But there's where the badge is supposed to go for the gathers. So this is a gathers interior. Got some people hating, I guess if you will. On my car. Another thing. It's like I said, I attention to detail. Fender washers there, fender washers down there. Like, who the hell is gonna see that? Maybe you can see when the freaking door is open. That's about it. Then the hood risers. I got more fender washers today. I got that valve cover on. I'm about to pull it off actually. It's not all the way on. I'm gonna redo it. Then I'm redo, like I said, I'm redoing this uh, metal bracket piece in wrinkle black. I got fender washers in there. Got a new radiator bracket. Like I said, fender washers everywhere. Like I said, here's that valve cover. It's stained from polishing the letters, but oh well, it's gonna be all, I got some paint over there. It's going to be all coming off. I'm going to paint, uh, paint it again wrinkle black. Now i got a new spark plug cover on the way. Silver one. The engine bay is a little too black for my taste. Being the Valkar is black, but oh well. Like I said, it's a B16 valve cover. It's a GSR head. And it's a B20B, JDM B20B block. Just in case you guys are wondering. Like I said, I got more... Fender washers. I got 40 total fender washers in the engine bay. But, uh, sorry for the camera. I got a new rubber for the radiator bracket today. But anyway, fender washers all along here. All along there. Back there. Fender washers there. 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 I got those there when I get my strut bar because I don't want to lose those too. 
washers there and then up over there just everywhere but I said the car does run I can start it up right now but I'm not going to because it has no header on it's not good to start a car without no header it can bend a valve or something what I've heard since it's getting dragged cold air then we'll be getting a cold air intake a go auto works silver cold air intake that goes right here and the filter down over here it's gonna be silver then we get the 1320 megaphone header but yep like I said the fitment it definitely needs more camber I so said I just got them on it's gonna have my camber around just a little bit maybe lower it just a tad like I said you guys are here for the wheels not for the engine bay I said it's gonna look even better with the lip on there. It's gonna look way better. So yeah, looks like I get chrome center caps because the center caps that came with it are black. QSD hood risers. Those are uh, fifty dollar hood risers. And I got I got the cup washers for those on the way. Then I got. Fender washers for here, on the way. Fender washers for here. Got the new spark plug cover on the way. New oil cap. It came out as all. It came as like a kit. I didn't want to get the oil cap, but oh well. Came as like a little bundle kit. So like I said, I'm about to pull the valve cover off. It's not even. It's not even bolted down. I just got it sitting on there, so dust and stuff doesn't get into the head. But I took the valve cover off the other day, obviously, and that head, inside the head is so clean. You can definitely tell this uh, motor was rebuilt 7,000 miles ago, motor and head. But, yep. Like I said, the paint I got over here. First of all, I got the aircraft uh, paint remover. And get all that paint off of there. Get it all cleaned up. Put some brake cleaner on there. Get all the stuff you know, out. And then I got the VHT Wrinkle Plus. black wrinkle paint you have to spray it on a certain way but it looks just like factory when you're done these cans are 10 a piece this can right here is 10 and the cheap brake cleaner is 5 just in case you guys are wondering here's the center cap for the wheels that are ugly they're black I'm getting chrome flush mounted ones but let me go and shut this hood real quick But like I said, I just gotta get the lip, and then she's gonna look good. Then I'm gonna be get this door painted. Someone said my car is in all one color. Whoop de do! It's one door, and it is the same or it's the same color. It's white, but it's not the exact white because this is a custom white. It's championship white that comes on the Civic Type R's with a little bit more uh, cream color to it. Like I said, SIR2 interior, double den, SIR everything. But, all right, it's been nine minutes so far, so I'm going to do another little walk around on the outside. I showed you this view probably like seven times already, but I think they look pretty good. I don't know when the next update will be. Update video. I said the only thing I'm lacking to fully drive this car is a header and an intake. That's like 500 bucks. The header's 300, the intake's 200. And this car will be back on the road. And this is the cleanest EG in my town. Almost the cleanest Civic, but anyway, thanks.